We have decided to stay in Belize. On Monday, they had the first uh, coronavirus case here in Belize. Now we have to find out where we can get some water for the boat. We've been sailing from Placencia with a few stops along the way. The last stitch of our sail is the actual entry to San Pedro. I was always afraid to go to San Pedro because it is surrounded by a shallow reef and has only a tricky narrow opening to get through. We made sure our timing is correct, with high tide and low waves. Very narrow, we have to take this weird angle. We motor with the waves on our stern, which is usually not comfortable, as it makes the boat sway a lot. Okay. Nothing to be worried about. So I can already see the buoy. We go all the way into the yellow buoy and turn 50 degrees to starboard to stay in deep water. San Pedro lies on Ambergris Key. It is an island which used to be a peninsula until the Mayas dug a narrow channel to separate it from Mexico, to have a safer passage when paddling between Guatemala and Mexico, and to improve the trade route. Daily routine.
uh, we have decided to stay in Belize. Um, hey. I mean, yes. Our visa. Yeah, we had to stay somewhere. Where they didn't kick us out. So we saw it coming and, and we made our plans before the borders have closed uh, that we will stay in Belize. Mm. So far, it's been a good decision. Yeah, and we decided for several reasons. Um, so I think, um, yeah, we were on the way uh, towards uh, Mexico, Cuba, Miami. And we thought if we stay somewhere, Belize is nice for many reasons. Um, it's people speak English. Uh, yeah, hundreds it, of islands. Yeah, it's pretty. They have islands so we can explore, you know, if we're here for a few months. Um, they have enough supplies here, you know, you can get everything you need. Um, people are nice, you know, it's pleasant. Um, Nobody's freaking out yet. And they have no cases of virus. I think that's also important to mention. So, yep. we feel quite safe. Now, let's see how long this will last. It's Friday and uh, on Monday they had a first uh, coronavirus case here in Belize. Uh, city Council of uh, San Pedro, they uh, announced a quarantine or let's say state of emergency for uh, um, 72 hours. So we were waiting uh, for that to pass and we wanted to leave uh, San Pedro. So uh, basically on went Thursday morning, yeah, when this was supposed to be over, we woke up early and uh, started to sail. to check internet and we wanted to you know like while we still had internet uh, see what's happening what's new blah 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 and uh, well since they uh, had another case of the virus uh, which was a relative of the first person uh, the state of emergency was extended to 30 days so we turned around and came back to San Pedro When we when we uh, came here to uh, San Pedro and we anchored, uh, there was a boat that was heading our way, and I was like, um, "They are police," and I was like, "Ah, they're not." Four guys with machine guns asking us where we were, where we're going and uh, luckily, because I think they still remember us uh, remember the boat being anchored in here they uh, they, uh, just, 
did a quick check and uh, turned around and took off. Yeah. And it was at that moment, I mean, it was uneventful ultimately, but at that moment, it was very scary. Like, and we wanted prison. to come back and uh, have a green light on whether we can leave or not. So, yeah, here we are uh, in the ghost town of San Pedro. Uh, we are the only boat there. And, uh, we are gonna go to some offices, find out uh, what are our option if, options if we can leave or not. Yeah, and now we have to find out where we can get some water for the boat. Water is gonna be a big, big problem because everything is shallow in here. Thanks a million for watching and make sure to subscribe. You want me to guide you? Where are your shoes again? I left them on the boat again.